Search for Lucky, the missing dog stolen during a carjacking, is ramping up tonight. A man stole Willard Martz's car with Lucky, his dog still inside, outside a store in Westmoreland County last month. Since then, so many of you have been searching for Lucky, so many people calling our station as well, not only here in our area, but up and down the entire East Coast. Here's Katie Kay's Barry Pintar with the latest. It's been a week and a half since 87 year old Willard Martz had his car stolen at the Tracker Supply Company store in Mount Pleasant with his dog Lucky still inside. Since that time, police tracked down the man they believe stole Martz's car, 43 year old Kenneth Kreider. They recovered the car damaged after a high speed chase in North Carolina. Lucky, however, has never been found. Kreider told police he dumped Lucky at a rest stop near Selma, North Carolina. Since that news hit the air, the number of people searching for Lucky has grown literally into the thousands. How? Because in part of exploding online interest, like this Facebook group called Bring Lucky Home to PA. Tracy Mooney Ruffner created that group. I saw that their dog had, you know, a dog had been stolen and I put it on my page and it took off. So I thought, oh, this is going to be big and it was consuming my page. So I talked to the family and they allowed me to do a Bring Lucky Home page. This group has grown to over 8,000 in just a matter of days and it's growing by the minute. All this means it's not only the people in the southwestern PA area looking for Lucky, but people for hundreds of miles from Pennsylvania all the way down to North Carolina and beyond. So many people are out there working so hard to find yeah. Lucky. What are your hopes? Well, um, we track down every lead that we get. Every It's unimaginable how many dogs look like him that are being found everywhere. But we send somebody, we call every single lead that we get. Anything they can do, they are doing. Thousands of flyers were printed here in PA and shipped for free down to North Carolina. They've talked with dog trackers and trappers. They're closely following every sighting of lost shaggy black dogs. People have spent hours and hours in their cars searching for Lucky. He's even the topic of several RV groups and 911 dispatching groups blasting the information up and down the East Coast, all an organized effort. So many, so caring, all so hoping that this constantly growing effort will bring Lucky home. Barry Pintar, KDKA-TV News.